best skateboarders on the planet have invaded downtown Oslo for one of the heaviest street contests of the year. It's the Men's Skate Street Final, live from X Games Norway, and it starts right now. What's up, everybody? Brandon Graham alongside the voice of Skateline, Gary Rogers. And Gary, this final is truly anyone's game, completely up for grabs. That's true, that's true, everybody's Everybody got serious real quick. It was fun. Everybody like, what's up, bro? How you doing? And it's like, nah, bro, I don't know you like that. It took a while to get to this field. We had a qualifier two days ago. We had a Nordic qualifier just before this one that brought in, there you see Yako opening things up, and he a threat to win this thing outright, Gary. Hey, hey yup. Watch. He could. Just what is fun. He so could. here's Herman Stena out of Norway. Perhaps the loudest cheering you'll hear today for Stena. I, for the longest, I kept calling him Steen. I think it's Steen in English, but it's Stena. Jagger Eaton, he won our AM contest in Minneapolis. He won the Tampa Pro, almost qualified first overall, but he had to settle for second because of Kelvin Hoffler. That's a little contest. That's his SoundCloud name, a little contest win. Yeah. He went from Taylor Swift to Playboy Cardi in a year, bro. <laughs> and we got Cousin Skeeter, or not Every, Cousin Skeeter, just regular Skeeter. Everyone's got a nickname here in this field. But again, you take a look at this course here in Skur 13. I'm going to get to this field in just a little bit because I think this lineup is really dynamic. But let's take a look now at this course that was built back in 2016. Walk us through these features, Gary. All right, that A-frame, beast. Stairs, haven't skated them. I don't like stairs. That's a big ledge. Ain't ever went to Ragnarok. But you watch Thor. So you watch Thor. Yeah, I've seen I've seen Thor, of course. I haven't seen all of them. I, the last one was crazy. Uh, the Brick Pyramid, I haven't really skated that, but the triple set's looking beast. Nobody's actually touched the drop rail, so maybe in this final they will. And that long rail is buttery, so please lock in or I will laugh at your fall. Traditionally in X Games course, we always see that one feature, that ender, that big, massive feature. We're not seeing that here, so tech, creativity really put on display. We've got eight skaters, three runs each, the best single score counts. We're gonna get to the start list in just a second. No Nigel Houston, he's battling an injury. He did not make the travels over. Uh, Luan Oliveira is in the field, so he's always gonna be a threat. There's a look at our judges. But we're really void of a lot of former gold medalists. No Paul Rodriguez, no Chris Cole, no Ryan Sheckler. It's a new era right now. Kelvin Hoffler is the only defending gold medalist in this entire group. That's crazy. And he looks like he wants to take a second one home today. But Jagger is skating like he's like, yo, Kelvin, bro. I mean, silver gonna look nice on you, G. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, that's how Jagger's skating. But I'm, I'm rooting for Yako Yonan. He well, doesn't have the same line at all. Let's get down to business. It all comes down to this. The final starts right now. The first guy to drop in, do not sleep on Yako Oyanin. He qualifies via the Nordic qualifier right before this. If you've never watched this young man skate before, sit down, you're in for a treat. Yo, me and the homies were saying he's Wes Kramer with like dummy style. Nah, Wes Kramer got Steve. He's got style. But this, oh, wow. And there's something that we didn't see at all in the Nordic qualifier. Yeah, nah. Yako stayed on his board all three runs and right out the gate having a little trouble. He went first. He got put, you know. No one wants to go first nobody, in a final. Ever. So most creative on that Ragnarok section. Why did they name it Ragnarok? Is it a lightning bolt or something? <laughs> I, well, I, I think maybe it's there's a Nordic, if, if we're in a Nordic country, Thor, a Nordic character. Oh, yeah, he's like a demigod Viking thing. Yeah, it's a, uh, a Nordic myth that I'm sure uh, Colin Bain, our head researcher, will help us out with. Did you second. see that, that, that willy grind all the way down that rail? I saw it. I'm here. I'm working. You seen that? Yeah, I know you saw it, but did you seen that? Uh, it has to do with the end of Cosmos slash rebirth of Cosmos, if you're wondering about the Ragnarok. What game. does that got to do with a rail? I know the facts. I've been given oh, the you facts. Knew. Oh, you knew about the... the what myth. does that have to do with a rail? Y'all got to stop. All right, man. I'll get that. Let's get back down to this replay here. 
He did that Willie the Fakey and held on. See, that 180 just got him because he was slightly nervous by going first. He just came out of the other contest, skated. He had three runs. It wasn't like two. He had a full three runs, came in a little tired. So that's what got him. 51 for Yako. Let's do that again. The translation, by the way, for that end of Cosmos, rebirth of Cosmos, because I know this is just compelling television. Doom of the Gods. So maybe we can translate that rail. Oh, so it's the doom of the skaters. Yeah. Figure it out, people. Hey, Luan Oliveira making his 12th X Games appearance, two silvers, three bronze. He's never won an X Games gold. Did he get rid of the mustache? Thank you. Yeah, he was God. he was riding with the mustache oh. for a solid two years. Oh. That's an old headshot. Yo. He's like the only one doing a manual down that, or a manual today, period. So, to front side flip manual, turned up. Oh my goodness. Does it get any prettier? My chest, bro. Mm. <laughs> Don't be crazy. Hey, Luar really got swag. I'm so mad. Look. I Oh, so Luan injured, Luan injured his leg in run one of the qualifier a couple of days ago. He had ice packs on it. We weren't even sure if he was going to skate in this final tool a couple hours ago. He seems to be all right. Yeah, though, he showed Gary. up the latest to everybody, and he really didn't practice. He, like, did a few tricks just to get his legs going. But again, we talk about the flip tricks. We talk about the pop. It is crazy to me that Luan Oliveira has not won an X Games gold medal in his career. I mean... That is insane, bro. He's pretty consistent, too. So I don't get that. That don't add up. So we await Luan's run one score. There you see. I think that hug was genuine, or he was just like, hey, <laughs> that was good and all, that's but watch like, this. That's all Brazil right there between he and <laughs> Oh, yeah, they, hey, nah, they got each other back. I'm messing around. They really So rock. the score coming in, 72 for Luan Oliveira. Again, three runs each. We only count the single best score. Out of Larvik, Norway, he qualified <laughs> in a couple of days ago. <laughs> Who are all y'all? I don't think Herman Steno was expecting that sort of noise from this home country crowd. Who are y'all? Wow. <laughs> are the lights too big for Herman? Probably not, dude. If you've ever seen him skate, it's something else. And he's accomplished. So he qualified in with all the rest of these guys. He was our top-ranked qualifier when we did the Nordic qualifier here back in 2016. Oh. Trying to go 180 switch crook there, or probably tail fake. But nonetheless. And then a the back nose mode shoe pop that you got to tie them up, boy. For that ankle stay right there on the floor. We've seen him out of war, so at X Games off. Am. We've right. seen him at Tampa Am. Those don't slip off. Here he is in the Skate Street Final at X Games Norway 2018. Oh, he decked that. Oh. But did he just do a triple flip? Hey, did he just? Wow. <laughs> did he just do a triple flip? Herman Stena. I said, I think he's got time for one more. How you get your special meter up and you didn't do nothing? <laughs> Bro, he put the cheat code in. He got all his special. He slips off the nose blunt slide, and that was really the end for Stena. Bro, is this a triple flip? Oh, this is a late show. Bro, hold on. Y'all got to play that. I don't think that flip twice. I think there's a... <laughs> oh! I still can't tell, but I thought that was the true. I was about to be like, We're yo. We're calling it a double kickflip. <laughs> so a 28. Stan will have to clean some stuff up on his next attempt, but nah, he got to do it just face. like that. And triple foot. But he, by far, the loudest cheering section here in Skur 13 they for got Herman Stena. He's, like, he's like, I got my city on my back. I don't know what to do. Speaking of city on your back, how about the KC kid, Sean Malto? He's not home though, so what is, he's not, look at Sean's hair, you think he care? I'll just say. Sean always repping Kansas City. Back here on the X Games stage, 
has a silver medal in his previous seven X Games appearances, as consistent as they come. What's he got to do to get on the podium, though, here in 2018, Gary? Be Sean Malto, and remember he's Sean Malto, and go Sean Malto mode. Sean Malto is it's pretty water. He got some of those days where I'll be like, ah, see? That was a little sketch, though. Sean don't do front crook sketch. That was a little sketch, so you can tell that was that first go. As we said, his lone medal of silver came back in 2013 when we were in Brazil, Faz de Iguaçu. I know you were watching that one, Gary. Probably not, but hey, shh, don't say that. So far, Whoa. a very strong run for Sean Malto. Switch crew, all the way. Staying on his board. Guys, get out of the way if you could. What's he got for an ender? Oh, he's, I think he's going to do the gap to rail back over Kirk. Oh! Everybody's doing a slide trick on that. I think he went for a back over Kirk. So. And again, just so technically sound. Not a guy that flips his board very often. Nah. Out of out but, of those. Uh, but when you do it as proper as he does. Yeah, style looks good. The judges don't seem to dock him too much. Yeah, he was going for back. He was going to get back over crew. He just missed it. Shig it. Cat it. Like, I am as hot at it. Like, I say it closely. Like, I just <laughs> blew it at the last and second. 80 now. for Malto, putting him into the top spot. Yuto Horigami drops in next. We had not seen much of Yuto, at least domestically in the States, before he hit the X Games stage in Minneapolis, put on a show, had a top 10 finish. Man, was looking automatic in practice, but struggling out the gate. Did he just back tilt? Feeble back Whoa. tilt. See? His line. <laughs> 2017 was such a massive year for Yuto. Like I said, hadn't heard much about him, and then he became a podium machine. Yeah. Yeah. Nearly every contest going top three. I told Yuto today, I know people be like, oh, you don't talk. I was like, don't talk to nobody, bro. Just go ahead and skate. Just do you, bro. Like it's amazing the life coaching that you provide out on the course. I gotta, practice. I gotta coach. You know what I'm saying? Everybody be trying to get all these people in. I just say, man, be you, bro. And you're not even trying to be on the like, payroll. Nah. <laughs> nope. So Utah's run one in the books. Right here, what happens? He's like the only human being that could do that trick more than once, and he didn't do it. And he fell on a tray flip. So. Yudo with the rare first run jitters. He's on blind. I giggle about that, but I'm happy. Because blind is full of dudes that can do a lot of tricks though, so. They just, all them could do tricks. And he could get one of their boards at, uh, the local sports store. Uto's run one score of 53, good enough for third. And we are now five down into our eight-man field here on run number one. We turn our attention now to Felipe Gustavo. Making his third X Games appearance. So fun to watch, has yet to really find any success on the X Games stage, his best finish was 16th in Austin back in 2014. That's hilarious. Switch back tail. You were skating with Felipe a lot today, earlier in practice. Yeah, he was just trying to give me a lot of advice on how to pop out of tricks, and we were playing like skate and stuff. I don't even play skate, but I play with him. He smoked me, of course. Dude can do any trick you want. Switch regular nolly. One of the first guys to hit the course for practice earlier today, getting that time in. So far, it's showing up. Final 10 seconds for Felipe. Switch him over the rail. Oh. I don't 
think that's what he was going for, but he got it. Stayed on his board. And there you see Leticia Buffoni. Fresh off her gold medal Look performance Brazil. from a couple of nights ago. Look Brazil, Brazil like, stand yeah. up. They a long way from home, too. They a late juice. <laughs> Starting things off with this Nolly Crooked and right, just a really strong opening run for Felipe. Shout out to Brazil, man. Shout out to Norway, man. Even though America, we might, we might need to, I'm telling y'all, build one big apartment building for all 300 million of us just live over here so I can have sun all day. I need that. You're saying that's what gives the local skaters a leg up because they could skate until like one in the morning. Yeah. Do you know, bro, it was. We have a new leader, Felipe Gustavo, with that 83.66. And as you said, maybe not even the trick he was trying to do there at yeah. the end. Cleans that up. Look out, Felipe taking over the top spot. What's his name? You changed it? Felipe. I see you renaming this. I was getting a little Portuguese. I mean, I'll be renaming people all the time, bro. Felipe Gustavo. Jagger Eaton going topless on run number one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at a little contest. And Jagger was just clinical on this course in qualifiers. Clearly a fan favorite. I want to start singing Taylor Swift songs, but I don't know any. So, <laughs> this dude, hey, Lil Bro is something else. How does he go from skating an AM contest that all of a sudden Tampa Pro just a couple of months ago against all these guys and beats them outright? Because he doesn't not win. <laughs> or at least be in the top three. And to be young, people are seeing that, they're like, we got to give him a chance. This is his first X Games Pro contest. You wouldn't know that. Whoa. Whoa. Smoke. Himself. You good, you just tired. Get up, get up, bro. There you go, there you go. Let me try to have a moment. You try to have everybody get slow clap while he got up. You know, you listening to this crowd, you would think he's Norwegian and not from Mesa, Arizona. He's got a few fans here in downtown Oslo. And that guy back smooth. But as you said, that's what he does. He wins contests. Yeah. So why, when he transitions from AM to pro, would we expect anything otherwise? Yeah. He won our AM contest in Minneapolis last summer. And those tricks in his line are disrespectful. <laughs> An 88. Look. What a score for Jagger Eaton Look. as he takes over first place. Also, I say he's in Justin Bieber's blackface all the time. That's what I say. I don't know that anyone out uh, in this field is, has enjoyed the city of Oslo more than Jagger. I'm seeing Jagger everywhere in downtown Oslo. Yeah, he, he's getting around. And rounding out our group of eight, our top ranked qualifier, defending gold medalist from X Games Minneapolis, Kelvin Hoffler. What is it about Kelvin that just makes him so good in a format like this? That, how you gonna just have cab, back 5-0, 180, switch blunt, 270? That's what makes him good in a contest like this. He's putting together what I would say, you know how you're seeing a backsmith on something else? Like, you know, Jagger's taking it to gap the backsmith. He's doing tricks nobody else is going near. So that's what stands out to, like, a judge or whatever. But I got to ask, Gary, at 25 years old, wow. Like, Kelvin only got his first X Games appearance last year. Where's he been? In Brazil. Just half cap. Oh, my goodness. Gary, say something. I'm dead. I'm dead. No, I'm dead. I'm dead. I can't, I can't do it. Gary! I can't, I can't do it with these dudes. Hey, yo, chill, chill, chill. Just relax. We're good. I don't, know it's run one. Don't scream at me. I don't, I don't scream at you. Don't scream at me. All right. <laughs> All right. I got to respect you. I apologize. <laughs> but what did we just see? I'm about to scream, bro. I'm just laying. I'm just laying. <laughs> Control thyself. Control thy... I, I'm literally done with Brazil already. I was rocking with y'all when y'all celebrating, but now I'm done with y'all.
That's not cool. Luan Oliveira looked great. And then Felipe Gustavo put down his run. Jagger Eaton had this place on fire. And now Kelvin Hoffler says, how do I one up y'all? That's a 93, bro. I'm hot. I gotta Just go to Brazil. To see the it's bar the water. It's the get water. raised it's the water. with every skater dropping in was amazing to see. And it's just run one. Hey. What'd you say, 93? That's what you're thinking? I'm thinking 93, something like that. Ooh, let's see how good you are. 92.33. I don't even do this. Kelvin but Hoffler I taking over the top spot. He said, I got gold in mini. I know what it feels like. I want it again here in Norway. One run in, and the skating just got elevated. Kelvin Hoffler leading the way with that 92.33. Run number two from Skur 13 here at X Games Norway, right after this. Somehow, some way, Skur 13 Skate Park here in downtown Oslo still intact after Kelvin Hoffler really put fire to the course on run number one as he took the overall lead with that commanding 92.33. But the beauty of this format, Gary Rogers, everybody else gets two more cracks at this thing. <laughs> They better use the two cracks wisely, G. They better do that, dude. Like, Kelvin said Brazil is the other world. Is that on Earth? Brazil's on Earth, right? Brazil is nah, on Earth. Nah. All right. I feel like Brazil is from, you know, the ugly dude that was with Thanos? Yeah. Remember the ugly dude? Yes, yeah. That's who, who Brazil who could is. Forget the ugly dude. Because he was wet. Yako Oyanin got in through our Nordic qualifier. Skates with so much power, so much speed. Every line is different, Gary. Yeah, they are. Now he looks like he kind of put one together just to like maintain himself. But earlier. Was so good in qualifiers, uncharacteristically went off his board early and then does it again I'm right to do there. 50 to back Smith? Bros. The... Hey, this is another like quick foot champion. Other day, he did like a 50-50. Don't be show me he did a 50-50, ollied up, pushed his board down, and let the board 50-50, and then hopped off the ledge. Like he ollied, kicked it, it don't even make sense. What I'm telling you, I think I'm crazy. I'm not crazy, I got sense. My mama and my dad oh. crazy. Went down twice. Gary, Yako's not a guy that we see in a lot of contests. I want to ask you about the phenomenon of, of skaters who make a name for themselves with Instagram clips, because he's got a pretty healthy social following, and we're starting to see that a lot now. Yeah, so basically with Yako is he'll get on his, and he's not following the trends. He's literally doing something new every time he steps on, and it's, when I tell you, something out of the box, I'm so serious. Go on there, he does like full cap, Bennett grinds on tranny, like, it's, it's kind of breathtaking. At Yoko, Yako oh, Oyanin. I'm breathtaking, that's like a cess word. Hopefully you can spell that, that's the handle. You'll get it wrong, I'll bet you money. If you just like cover your eyes and walk over to somebody and be like, spell Yako. It's not a Y. A 58.33 for Yako, so up to score, but he stays <laughs> in sixth place. <laughs> so here's Luan Oliveira, a 72 on run number one, trying to add to that medal collection of five overall in his X Games career. Sink it, sink it, sink it. Oh my goodness. Again, 
injured in the qualifier, wasn't, wasn't even sure if he was gonna skate tonight. So that's going to do it for Luan. Oh. <laughs> a throwaway run for Luan, which is unfortunate because he was really putting it together. Yeah. As we take another look, starting with this front side flip. Look at the flick on the fake. And I won't... caught it. Look, he started it and caught it. He caught it before he flicked it. Does anyone in this lineup flip their board better than Luan? No. I'm look. Hold on. Let me look. Let me look. Felipe out there. No. Nah. The, uh, he taught Felipe. Felipe. Bro, stop renaming him, bro. His, his parents gave him a name, bro. Felipe. All right. All right. Nah. Yeah. Luan got the flick. So Luan ups his score of 74. Climbing. And his style is getting better, too. That's the worst part. Look at Tiago trying to give him pointers. So what you should do is Thiago you, see that, you see that flat rail on top of the bank? Skip the bank, go up to the flat rail like I would. That's what Tiago be doing. Herman Stena, the lone Norwegian in the lineup. Skating in front of his home country. Kelvin Hoffler, our current leader, with that 92.33. That's who everyone's chasing. Oh, that counted. That counted. That was a nollie flip push. <laughs> Herman Stingo, his street parts are, his street parts are like their beast. Yo, got back to him. I just found out about Herman too, so not just, but he's from a little later than everybody else. He's from Larvik, uh, Norway. I don't know if you knew this about him—that his mom opened up a skate shop. Oh wow! That's, mama's skate shop. That's bees. Um, All the local skaters call her mama. This, mama skate. The homie Nate Alton. Yes. Was like, hey yo, this is dude named Herman Steen. This is dude named Herman Steen. Watch out for him. And I like watched one part. I was like, okay, I'm with him. Everything he's doing. So. Herman Stena, Stena. Yeah, to be clear, Herman Steen and Herman Stena are the same person. Steen, Stena, Gunna. Kukota Milli, my Goyara Duff. Again, if you're just joining us, eight guys in this field, each of them getting three runs. We Bro, count the single best score, triple, triple flip. kick flip. <laughs> Whoa. Triple drown. So a 16, not the start to Herman Stena's day that he was looking for, but still, no, you see Clearly like getting off. the loudest cheers. I'm watching them. Ain't nothing. I'm gonna wipe the little dust off of me. <laughs> Sean Malto. We saw him in Minneapolis last summer, and before that, we hadn't seen him on the X Games stage since 2013. So it had been a minute. Good to see him out here at X Sean Games Buck Norway. I think Sean buckled himself. Didn't he do something like mess his ankle up or something? Yeah, like he that. tore two ligaments in his right ankle Ooh. back in 2013. So technically sound, very direct in his approach, and that's not something you see very often. Yeah, not on back nose moves or back over crooks or front crooks or kick for front crooks. I remember one time we tried to tell you he had no pinch. He did a front crook so disrespectfully to the side. Oh, that's a switch up. No pun intended. That pun will be so fun. right now, Malto just on the outside looking in from the podium with that 80. And Sean's a vet. He realizes that run got away from him. He's got one more crack at it. Yeah. Told you, you cracks wisely. Doesn't need to waste more energy than he needs to to get back for one more trick on a throwaway. 
So let's take another look. I'll be curious to see where it went wrong for him. Right there. Or right when he dropped in. No, I'm just playing. Incredibly, though, his hair stays intact. <laughs> hey, I was about to say it, bro. Right? I was going to say it, but I, I just, I decided to stay away from it. So Malto's score coming in at a 60.66 on run number two. So here's Yuto Horigoma. He's sitting in seventh place. Did not start his runoff right. Cleans it up right out the gate here. He's so methodical right, he in his twist. approach. He can make twists. Like, he can do that, and he can make twists. Like, he could drop on a vert ramp, padless, and make twists. Very even keel. Doesn't seem to get too high, too low. And whoa. You seen the aggression? Look at him. He's putting together a run right now, Gary. You seen that aggression? Final 15 seconds. This is the thing we were saying about Yuto earlier. It wouldn't shock anyone if he just came out and won this contest entirely. Yeah, nah. Am I cross-eyed? Yeah, I'm cross-eyed. Representing Tokyo, Japan. Oh, by the way, street skateboarding in the 2020 Olympic Games in Tokyo, Japan. Disgusting. <laughs> I'm going to beat me wherever I go. I'm Gary Rogers. I say anything. I'm going to beat me wherever I go. You can't stop me. All right, now I'm back to normal. Okay, so okay, had, Yuto's run. Let's talk Yuto's he run just too. Did the feeble with the back tail. He can't do with the tray. Hey, he stomped that tray flip. Because okay. you know Yuto ain't got no emotion, no feeling. He's just like, I'm stomping this one. Hoffler had that 92.33 to set it off in run number one. Jagger Eaton with an 88. This run very much a different approach. Be curious to see how the judges score this thing. Sean Malto says, hey, so job his, well done. And his run, him and Kelvin, like him and Kelvin, Yeah. if you pay attention to his run, they got those other tricks. Right. Nobody's doing that Nolly 270 lip. Actually, anywhere in any type of company. Those are the minute details yeah. that the judges take notice. Yeah, they be oh. like, that, that trick rare is a dog. An 82.33, interesting. So Puts they paid in the fourth look, place. See, I was thinking that they was gonna pay attention like the toe drags, right. the sketchy moments where Kelvin didn't really have a lot of those. So, and neither did Jagger. So, or Felipe did Gustavo, Stop. he's sitting in that bronze medal spot, 83.66. I talked to more than a couple of people earlier today that said he was their pick to and win gold here today. Those. He just learned. That's crazy. Oh, he's hot. And again, in an event like this, where the level's been elevated, you could try to make up for it, but when you fall like that early. Or if you could switch flip back five after, you might be cool. I would be cool. Then again, I wouldn't be in a but then again, when you saw what your fellow countryman Kelvin Hoffler did on run number one, you realize you may just have to wait till the hey, third and final attack. Well, I was about to be like, I'm from Brazil. <laughs> what is he about to do? When he tray flip up there, would it, like. So again, a couple of falls, but a lot to like in that run. Currently in All third switch. place. Yeah. All switch? Like we're watching uh, a P-Rod run from like 2010. 
<laughs> that used to happen a bunch. So run number two, 80 for Felipe Gustavo. He'll hold on to that first run score. Third place is where he will stay. You think it's anything in that can? <laughs> nah, no. he just got a bag off that. There you go. <laughs> they see Oystein Brown oh fresh off of a podium performance in men's ski big air watching. Jagger Eaton, first place at 2018 Tampa Pro. You read that right. And now here he is in that silver medal spot. And 88, what can he do to catch Hoffler? This. And then back it up with this. Getting deep into the stands. Oh. Jagger. I saw you two last night at the Lil Yachty show. Turn it up. Turned up. Told you you like rap. He still likes Taylor Swift, but he likes rap. 17 years old, Jagger Eaton. You can see. You can see he, uh, he was a little. It looked like he didn't have enough speed for the kick for back lift. As you see, he caught it at the top of the rail. And he had so much to slide left, so he was just like, ah. Oh. Yeah, the momentum got crushed early in that run. Wasn't able to recover. Cannot wait to see what he'll have on final attempt. Let's take another look. Oh, that feeble was beast. <laughs> That's what the prompter said. Don't get at me. I know what I'm talking about. That was Gaffron Smith. See, look, he didn't have enough speed. That's all. It's just been amazing to watch his growth in the trajectory of his contest career. And it's just happened what feels like overnight, but he's won say, so many AM contests. I was about to say, what growth he's two. <laughs> the homie three years old. He's built for this format. Yeah. He really is. He's in like a new generation where they this is what they're gonna do and excel in. Kelvin Hoffler, what more can he do? Gary Rogers, he's sitting in first place, eight on his board with that 92.3. CB, I'll be like, <laughs> I'll just sit in the stands and let the Oh, you wouldn't walk. even do the run? I'll be like, yo, I'm up now. Y'all gotta catch up. Is he about to do a cleaner so he can get a higher score? Don't do that. So you're saying avoid the same line, no, maybe shake it up. No, because if he does the same run without any of the sketch, don't you got to score higher? Yes, that would be the strategy. Is he about the gap? Uh, I mean, uh, sand? Or kickflip from Blunt. Gary, it just, it feels like Kelvin Hoffler's Bro, day hey, today. I've been here in this country for three days and haven't seen him do a kickflip from Blunt yet. Oh, he not having it. He not going for it. Oh, he's not going for it. Oh, okay. Nah, it's cool. It's cool, it's cool. Is Don't he going to get this last one in? Stop crying. Stop crying. It's, it's okay. It's okay. We can stop. He's not yeah, going realized for it. he was too past the buzzer. But again, this Oslo crowd loving what they're seeing from Kelvin Hoffler, our current leader. He can only go up from here score-wise. I'm telling you. Is I that wish, enough? I wish we had a mic <laughs> up there when Jagger just shook his hand. He's like, look, what's going on? He's like, tell that. Ask him what's going on. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Say it on national television. Does that best is 92.33? I mean, he actually added with the kick from front blunt, so it is a better line. But it should go up. I'm saying 94 ish. Bro, how? Well, you were. Almost perfect on your prediction. You called it a 93. It ended up being a 92.33. What's your uh, number prediction for this run? 94. I'm saying that with some confidence. I'm cocky like that. No, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm, just like I'm big humble.
So a 92-3-3 on run one, a 94-3-3 on run that. number Don't two. Ever play wow. Ever play Giving himself some more breathing room. Kelvin Hoffler is absolutely owning this contest right now. Like, I'm a PS4 with no plugs. You can't play with me. Two runs in, and it's the Kelvin Hoffler show. Who will catch the Brazilian? Find out after this. Final attempts when we come back. We wondered without Nigel Houston in this contest, who was going to be the guy that everyone else would be chasing after here in the Men's Street Final at X Games Norway. And I guess that was a little insulting because we had X Games Minneapolis gold medalist Kelvin Hoffler here the whole time. And here he sits atop of the standings with that 94.33. What can this lineup do to catch Kelvin? I'm gonna take a deep breath, put my head down, give my condolences for this lineup, because he actually just did his same line a little bit better and bumped his score up, so. We just saw Terry A. Hawkinson out here watching in the crowd, a snowboard legend. There are VIPs everywhere here at the Skur 13 in downtown Oslo to watch the best on the planet put it down. And we begin our third and final run, Yako Oyanen. What a story getting into this thing. Minutes before this contest, he qualified in via our Nordic qualifier. Skates with such a unique style, but he's sitting in seventh place, Gary. He's had trouble staying on his board. Case in point. Yeah. Well. He did just, this is his, you know, everybody got two runs. This is his sixth, so his legs might be in yeah. That is a really good point. He skated an entire final practically before this before final. Then, so. That is a bit of a disadvantage, just physically, of course. But again, there's no doubt about it. His bag of tricks and the way he skates, he certainly belongs if with he this decides, group. If he decides to do contests, which he probably will not, if he does, that was free smoke. You see that? But if he does decide to keep doing contests, bro, like imagine all those tricks that are supposed to be done once, done with consistency. Or so, not even done once. Yako's day is over, but just enjoy this replay. It's been amazing watching him skate all day. Ha! Ah, sick it! <laughs> but as you said, he's got that upcoming part in the new Element video. Yeah. You know that. That's what his boys told me. Look at this, bro. Oh, my. Look at that. He would kick the foot off. So disrespectful. A 60.66. Oh Unfortunately, that's his top score of the day. He'll stay in seventh place, but a great showing from the young Finn. We move our attention now to Luan Oliveira. A 72 on run one, a 74 on run two. If he lands everything, that he has on this line, Gary, where will that put him? 84. I'm just, who knows? Because if he's feeling good and he has an extra bag of tricks that he wants to unleash, look how fast he can flick his board. Luan can do 80 tricks a second, bro. Luan seems to get more tricks in a run than just about anybody. Him and Jagger. Jagger be doing like 80 tricks too. So far, this looks better than run number two. And I spoke too soon. That was your fault. You was kryptonite. You know, still trying to over the rail? Yep. Look. Oh. He made that look so See? effortless. It still has time to play with. Comes back. Look, he was like, oh, it fall twice? No, sir. Jumping off my board into the crowd is not a fall. 
is what I assume he was saying. So a 72 and then a 74. We take another look. He was putting it together. When he didn't come out of that, that was it. When he didn't come out of that, that's what to like took him off his little game. Mm. Caught. Mm. Bow. Boom. Caught. Look. Bow. Luan's 12th oh, X Games appearance, that. five medals, none of them gold. But trying to get back on the podium for the first time since 2016 when he did it here in Oslo. So a 78, just a steady increase each time, but he doesn't move up in the standing. Six places where he'll stay, wow. They got Fortnite back there. This is a good look at the Athlete Lounge. I ain't hopped on sticks, but they got Fortnite back there. Herman Stena, he's sitting in eighth place. A 28 and then a 16. Let's hope that the Norwegian has saved his best for last. Yeah. Don't go home in last place, bro. Because if I was your homie, oh my god. Oh my goodness. You will be so through with me. You'll delete my number right there. But it's not a long way home. You know what I mean? He's just yeah. going out the door. But I'm saying the, the jokes. Like, bro, you're supposed to put on for this. You got last place. <laughs> Herman Stena qualifying in Is he gonna flip a couple of days ago. I think eyebrows were raised because there were some big time pros that didn't get in that he qualified over. No Shane O'Neill, no Deshaun Jordan. Big flip. See what he finishes it off with. Yeah, he was like, I'm not doing last place. By far his best run of the day. Just trying to creep out of that eight spot. Would they give him a 17 9 9? <laughs> ah, I wish I was the judge. I'll do stuff like that. If it was like a jury, I would convince them all to. Nah, not jury. That's ops. Never mind. But yeah. I'll convince him like It's just skateboarding, Gary. I know. I know. Again, Stena sitting in eighth, just trying to get a solid score to move up. Just a game of pride, as Gary's saying, for him at this point. I'm it's not going home in last place. Don't let him go home in last place. Come on, just give him a 76, 60. Well, seven. he's got a lot of room to make up because Yako's got that. 60.66. And he does just that. Hey, a 65.33. Hey, he so Stena <laughs> actually jumps up one spot. Hey, my pick got last place. It's cool. That's how it goes. But he had like 80 runs before. You did say at the top of the show that you expected Yako to win the contest. <laughs> I just felt like doing it. I mean, I also said that Kelvin or uh, Jagger would be up there. I had to do it. I had to put on. Sean Malto, he's in fifth place. Had a nice run one, couldn't stay on his board in run number two. That third and final podium spot, Felipe Gustavo's got that 83.66. He would need at least that to get into bronze medal contention. And of course, our leader, Kelvin Hoffler, with that 94.33. Always on his front trucks. <laughs> hey, Sean, always on his nose grind. No falls yet here on his third and final run. Look, about to get young. Final trick. Ah. Oh. Don't wave. There you go. Don't wave. And again, the Don't hair wave. stays perfect. I hate that word. 
I dislike that word. Hair. Uh, the, the, yeah. No, not his hair. The P word. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. But I'm over here knocking on wood. I heavily dislike that word. There's a look at that fakey overcrook. Everything looked good, Gary, until that final attempt, really. Try to, he was getting young. <laughs> He's like, if Jackie could do it, I could do it. Oh, oh! You didn't see this. Somebody just Randy Mossed the board. Yuto beamed a board out into the crowd. So Malto score coming in at 80.66. So here's Yuto Horigome. He's in fourth place. He's just outside of the podium, Gary. Yeah. Felipe's got that 83.66. Yuto's got an 82.33. Trying to get his first X Games medal. Here's his shot. <laughs> Jack over here dancing in the corner. Still 20 seconds to skate with for Yuto. See him take a deep breath? He is lining it up. Not the finish Yuto was looking for as he was trying to get a podium spot. Looked like he was on his way though, Gary. He's like, I want to stand on those black boxes. Oh, it's just one black box, huh? Bro, that trick, that Nolly 180 feeble. Do we got a name for that yet? Can we just, it's the Yuto. I did it first. That's the Uto. Gary just trademarked Nally it, Uto. the Uto. I can't trademark it, he has to. I'm throwing it out Let there. Let him know. That's the Uto. You got his ear. Look. Ah, uh, ah, Z learning English. You see that? <laughs> That's 78.66, which means he will hold on to his run two score and just missed out on an X Games medal. Fourth place is where he will finish. So check this out. Our medals are set. Kelvin, Jagger, and Felipe, they're all getting on the podium. We just don't know where they'll be, where they'll be when it's all said and done. Who's Felipe gonna, Gustavo currently in bronze medal position. He's going to be higher or lower. He's got a best in 88 to take over silver and a 94.33 to take over the top spot from Hoffler. Oh. Bronze, bronze, do you hear my neck? Bronze, hello bronze, how you doing? So even with, Felipe is water. Even with this run becoming a throwaway, Felipe Gustavo is guaranteed his very first X Games medal. He's water. He be tapping his tricks sometimes though. Like he be like when he be in the streets, he does like a well. I mean, obviously the trick. He'll trade flip, nose grind, but he can tap it. And I get at him a lot about that, which like I wish he grinded his tricks longer, but he's he's water. So Felipe unable to challenge Jagger or Kelvin. See him in the for the top two spots. They catch immediately. Give me these boats. I like these boats. Look. How good do you have to be when you like, oh, I just learned this trick, but I can do it down the triple set. When did he say he learned this trick? To, like this week. Wow. Bronze. Hello, Bronze. Remember uh, Boomerang when she's like, Marcus? He's like, Bronze. 
I was waiting for a boomerang reference tonight. Why? I didn't know I had one. That just came out of nowhere. That's crazy. What? Hey, your brain, bro. A 73.33. So he holds on to his first run score, and Felipe Gustavo, head up high. You got a bronze medal, my friend. Oh my goodness, Gary Rogers. This is what X government. Games is all about. Oh, just government? You just gonna put me out there like that? Jagger Save Eaton. Save my social. Jagger Eaton is in second place. He's guaranteed at least a silver medal. But Jagger didn't come here for a silver medal. He came for a gold in his very first men's street final. How does he catch Kelvin Hoffler? What's he got to do? Hit this right here, which uh, came in that bank a little weird. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, no! And no, don't wave. No, no, don't wave. No, don't wave. No, you don't do that. You just keep skating. And with that, Kelvin Hoffler, a sigh of relief. No pun to Kelvin either. <laughs> this looks like a victory lap, by the way, from Jagger. Waving to every side of the crowd. Oh my oh, yo, goodness. Te technically, why would he have to do the run? Like, can we just? Kelvin. Yeah, like, saying. let's just. Kelvin doesn't have to do this run. Like. But he does, because we got a sellout crowd here in Oslo <laughs> that want to see him. All right, all right, all right, all right. So with that, Kelvin Hoffler is insured another gold medal as he wins X Games Norway. They gave him a 59 for the, the, the kick for back? I would have gave 72. Cool little smooth 72. So some history making for this podium. Felipe Gustavo earns his first medal. Jagger Eaton with the silver medal in his pro debut on the X Games stage. And Kelvin Hoffler, after taking home gold in his X Games debut at X Games Minneapolis, goes back to back with the top spot here in Oslo. This one, this one's for the fans. I don't, look, he said, I don't know what to do. Bro, wait, 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 wait. He's faking switch front feeble. We might be in for a real treat here, Gary. <laughs> Why did you have to say it like that? And for the first time all day, Kelvin Hoffler steps off the board. Yeah. He's like, why do I have to do yeah, this? Yeah, well, now it becomes a little... Look, now he's like, look, now he's yeah. like, why do I... Now it becomes a, a weird 20 seconds, that's for sure. Bro, he's about to kick flip back crook that room. Does he go back to it? Brazil is something else. Oh, I thought that kid was going to hold on to the... Brazil! I would have just took it. Final 10 seconds. Honestly, I don't be still. He's coming back to it. Oh, and that's going to do it. And Kelvin Hoffler with another X Games goal. Oh, he gave and he's going to gonna hand it off to the kid. Oh, my goodness. Martha Stewart. Oh. Now I'm just laying, look. So in Minneapolis, <laughs> like he rips the shirt off. <laughs> Pamela Rosa's mom is beside herself. Hey, hey shout out. No, no, no. Hey, look. So Kelvin Hoffler in Minneapolis rips his shirt off. In Oslo, he hands the board off to a little kid. That's amazing. Yo, hey, we don't disrespect moms, but that's, that's tight. That Kelvin all, all them that close, and she felt that. That's what's up. Two X Games appearances it's for Kelvin Hoffler. X Games, mom. Two X Games gold understand. medals. She just proud. That's not even his mom. I know it's Pamela's mom, but I'm saying, like. <laughs> Brazil, stand up. Two you of the three medals earned uh, by Brazilians. Look at, oh, look at my dudes over there, man. Luan showing him some love. What a moment for Kelvin Hoffler. Brazil with two medals. Two medals. Felipe Gustavo with the bronze. And Kelvin taking the gold. And of course, Jagger with the silver. And lest we forget, Leticia Buffoni winning gold oh, on the women's wow, side. Bro. It's a Brazilian takeover at Skur 13.
here at X Games Norway 2018. Our podium, Felipe Gustavo with the bronze, Jagger Eden with the silver, and Kelvin Hoffler makes it two in a row with a demanding 94.33, a gold medal here in Norway. Kelvin, you are now two for two, batting 100 here with gold medals. How have you been able to be so consistent? I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know. I'm so focused, like, for this contest. So, uh, man, uh, I still can't believe, like, back to back. So, thanks, Oslo, for, for having me. So, much love. And in Minneapolis, after you won, you ripped off your shirt. Here in Norway, you gave your board out to a little kid. Talk to me about that. Yeah, because he grabbed my board right there when I try a cricket for crook, so I give it to him, so. Talk to me about the support. There's a Brazilian sweep here in skating. What's the support like from all your Brazilian fans and friends here? I think the acai, right? I'm just kidding. It's all about the acai. What's this journey been like for you, though? I mean, before X Games Minneapolis, you hadn't even competed in an X Games. What has the journey been like to get to the top? Uh, X Games Minneapolis was uh, my first X Games ever, so. Uh, here is my, my second, so I don't know, man. I'm just so hyped for Skate X Games, so dude, I'm so blessed. Once again, congratulations, Kelvin. Hopefully, you'll do a three for three in Minneapolis. Give it up one more time for Kelvin Hoffler, everybody. He should have been inviting Kelvin Hoffler to the X Games Thanks. years ago. Probably. And there's a look at the ultimate souvenir. You can't buy that out at the merch tent. No. I can guarantee you that. No, you literally can't. What a moment. That, that kid got something Hoffman rare. That's his new company. His new company colors. That's it. That's Kelvin and Paul Hart. Yeah. So that board it ain't out there, actually. One so of one. It's one of one. What an incredible night of skateboarding here. At that wasn't X a plug. Games, that's Norway. just facts. Kelvin Hoffler, after taking that win in Minneapolis, does the exact same thing out here. An amazing three days out here at X Games Norway, from Skur 13 and the skate scene to the Oboe's Big Air venue yesterday where all the skiers and snowboarders put it down. Freestyle. I can't think of a better way to end the weekend than with Kelvin Hoffler earning the top spot. You have fun, Gary? Mm -hmm. You have fun? Oh, yeah. All right. Me? Yeah. Yeah. I'm in North, like, I don't live anywhere close to this place. So, of course, I had fun. Not that I, you know what I'm saying? I miss home. Shout out to my baby. I love you, Alicia. Shout out my mom and my daddy. Thank you for raising me right. Thank you for raising me right. So when we come out, We'll give away some hardware, but congratulations to Felipe Gustavo on the bronze, Jagger Eaton taking silver, and of course, Kelvin Hoffler with the top spot, that gold. And let's not forget the lady side, Leticia Buffoni taking the top spot. It was a Brazilian sweep. That'll do it for us here in Oslo. Congratulations to everyone here at X Games Norway. We'll see you in Minneapolis. Yiddick.